How do these birds even survive with such a strange, crisscross beak that looks more like an injury than an adaptation? On top of that, there are rumors that their bodies don't decompose after death, that they somehow naturally mummify. But in reality, crossbills, birds native to northern forests, are perfectly adapted to their environment. Their unusual beaks are specialized tools designed to extract seeds from pine cones, which they eat year-round. Opening a pine cone with a straight beak is nearly impossible, but crossbills use the cross tips to pry open the scales, then reaching with their tongues to pull out the seeds. The beak is less practical for other types of food, so they often have to eat sideways when foraging outside their usual diet. There's a popular claim online that, because crossbills eat resin-rich seeds their whole lives, the resin preserves them from the inside out, making them immune to decay. While it's true that resin might slightly slow decomposition, it's nowhere near enough to naturally mummify a bird. More likely, so-called mummified crossbills are simply the result of their habitat, cool temperatures, dry air, steady winds, and the antiseptic properties of coniferous forests, all of which can slow down decay in any animal. Crossbills also have incredibly strong feet. Even after death, they can remain clamped onto a branch, which sometimes causes their dried out bodies to be found hanging in place. This has likely fueled the idea of natural mummification. But in reality, these are isolated cases, not a widespread phenomenon. If it were common, pine forests would be littered with perfectly preserved bird corpses. In truth, the crossbill mummies people occasionally mention are often the work of skilled taxidermists, not nature.